In this enshrouded build video I will showcase the fire mage. So fire damage, effective against fell enemies, effective against Vukah, but resisted by simple scavengers. <coughs> Not by matrons though. We have only one fire spell, the eternal fireball, which deals massive damage in a big AoE. This spell will be our main damage dealing option and from my testing it has a pretty high critical chance. So with a few armor pieces and skills we will maximize that damage and also stun opponents at the same time. This is a great all game build which excels against most enemies but scavengers will be a little tougher. Anyway let's see how this build works by starting with the equipment. There are 5 ones which deal fire damage and they're pretty close to each other when it comes to damage. So I ended up using the blazing wand because it deals the most damage and it has slightly better stats and enchantments than the rest. The stuff I use is shroud weaver because it has the best enchantments for a fire mage build. I use ethereal pain to block and parry the opponents. The rings I use are the ring of rapacity which provides massive mana regen at the cost of 20 mana and the ring of health for 50 bonus health and 4 health regen. The headpiece I use is the warlock helmet. The stats of this headpiece will greatly improve the fireball's damage when we land a critical hit. I use the warlock shirt for 5% more wand damage, I use the archmage gloves which will further improve the damage of fireball, I use the radiant paladin trousers for extra health and health regen and the eagle eye boots for the juicy stamina regen properties. The ring of rapacity can be found very early in the west of the map, in willow crush, which is southwest of the revelwood ancient spire. Just fly to this town and you will see some rubble near this mill. Dig it and you will find the ring on a corpse. Shroud Weaver can be found in the southeast of the map near the Shroud Root. It is found in the chest at the top of the scaffolding. The Warlock Helmet, Warlock Shirt and Archmage Gloves can be crafted at the Alchemist. Everything else can be found in the chest at this location in the south of the map. It would take too long to go over all the skills picked, but here are some of the most important skills for this build. Terror, which stuns the target on a critical hit with a spell, Quick Charge so he can cast Fireball faster, Arsonist and Pyromaniac for a combined total of 30% bonus fire damage, Radiant Aura and Sun Aura for passive damage against fell enemies, Frost so he can slow opponents who hit us in melee, Water Aura and Waters of Life for passive health regen, Exalted and pretty much all intelligence nodes for more magic damage, Blink, Emergency Blink and Blink Attack to get out of danger when necessary or to damage opponents, Unity, Wand Master and Sting for mana recovery and more damage when using the wand, and some points into constitution nodes and skills related to damage mitigation. The best food to use for damage is the Glow Soup, which provides 5 intelligence for 45 minutes. For constitution we use the meat wrap which provides 5 constitution and 1 intelligence for 45 minutes. The final food is the fruit ball which provides 6 health regen and 3 stamina recharge for 45 minutes. When fully buffed by the food we reach 14 constitution for a total of 940 health. We also have 23 intelligence which means we deal a lot of magic damage. We also use the elixir of the shroud which raises our damage by 30% for 30 minutes. This was the Fire Mage build. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more enshrouded builds. Meanwhile, check some of my other build videos. Bye.